think South Park actually made fun of this already this season, where they're talking to ChatGPT, and after they ask a question, you know, it goes like the boo doo boo 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 doo boo and it's like thinking, right? And I think this is common for anybody that's ever interacted voice wise with the AI. Is you know, it's hard sometimes to have that natural sort of speaking thing, and for some people that can be very disruptive, if, especially if you're using it to brainstorm or you're really iterating and tightly with something. How do you get around this latency issue? What do you do to alleviate it even a little bit? There are a few things that it depends on. One of them being what kind of like infrastructure you're using because you need that WebSocket server. There are too many dependencies of how you can reduce the latency or if you're seeing latency in the first place. The second one being the choice of model. So like how long did it take for the AI to send you back a response. Also, like, you can set like max tokens and things like that. Like the O1 mini, the GPT-4 O mini. There's also a nano model. Those ones are like pretty great. I felt like I was having a conversation in real time.